Hey you guys, welcome back. If you guys are new here, my name is Lauren. I'm a nurse and I enjoy reviewing cruelty-free, science-backed skincare. I'm such a geeky skincare nerd. I could read the back of skincare labels all day long. I love researching ingredients and I just enjoy using skincare that has science behind the ingredients. I can promise you, you will never see a marshmallow mask on my channel that's gonna cure your fine lines and wrinkles. It's just, it's not happening. I like to talk about skincare that actually works. So today, with that in mind, we'll be talking about the brand Timeless. And this has been on my list to try forever. I did start incorporating a couple of their products into my routine a few months back. You guys know I've been raving about the vitamin C serum, but the brand did send me out some extra products to try, which I am so thankful to them. And then I wanted to pick up a few on my own so now I feel like I have not the full collection but I have one of their sprays I have a couple of their serums also an eye cream and then their squalene oil that I've been trying out so I wanted to talk about my favorites from the brand and then also my least favorites so Timeless is the brand I've always had my eyes on first of all I think I first saw them on Angie's channel Angie from hot and flashy one of my favorites here on YouTube, and she knows what's up when it comes to skincare. She's always raved about so many of their products, so I wanted to give them a try, and after looking into their ingredients list, I was so, so impressed. There's no fluff, no fragrance, just the good active ingredients that actually work. And what I love about them is they're not touting this whole idea of clean skincare. It's just, you don't have to do that. They don't have to, you know, use the big, buzzy marketing words. It's just, science skincare that works. And I'm telling you what, I found a lot of favorites in this line. So first let's talk about my numero uno, the vitamin C serum. Oh my gosh, I think this is honestly the first vitamin C serum that has given me such quick results. Maybe besides the Tarte Youth or Dare, that one, I really enjoy that one as well. But what made me fall in love with this one is not only the results, but also the texture. This feels like almost like a facial oil on your skin. It's so lightweight and it absorbs into the skin so nicely, which is so hard to find when it comes to a vitamin C serum. A lot of the times they pill, they don't wear well underneath makeup, but this just works so nicely with any skincare underneath makeup. It, it's just an awesome formula. This has 20% vitamin C, ferulic acid, and vitamin E. So it's containing those other essential antioxidants that keep the vitamin C stable and that, you know, essentially make the vitamin C effective and keep it active. And it has that key 20% concentration of vitamin C. Vitamin C, the pure form of vitamin C, the L-ascorbic acid, has been found effective, most effective at 20%. So you really wanna look for that concentration. Anything above 20% is just gonna be a marketing gimmick. It, you're, st you're still gonna get results, but you don't need to go that high. 20% is gonna be the max that's gonna be still gentle on your skin, but still give you results. So I just love this formula. So lightweight on the skin. Oh, it just makes your skin glowing and bright and it feels great on the skin. Really hydrating also. So yeah, love this vitamin C. Definitely my favorite from the line. And then next up is a serum that really surprised me. I didn't know what to expect out of this. This is the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. Q10 is essentially an antioxidant that helps plump out the skin. It's been actually proven to build up collagen and elastin, not like Retin-A, but it has been shown to be effective. So I was very intrigued by this but you just don't hear about Q10 all that much. I mean, it pops up here and there in skincare, but you don't hear a ton about it, but oh my gosh, does this make my skin feel so smooth. I first started trying it on my face and I was really impressed with the brightness and how just it decreased texture and it really smoothed out everything. I didn't know if it was just the extra hydration or what, but um, I, there was this picture of me. <laughs> it was a picture of me playing with the girls on, on like my rug in my living room and I'm looking at my chest and I'm like, oh my God, my, my chest looks so crinkly and wrinkly. I know, I know I'm getting old, I'm gonna be 36 this year, but it was really the first time I noticed that aging in my chest area. So I wanted to give this a go on, you know, the area that I felt like I was starting to need a little bit more attention. And I do feel like I have some smoothness. Now, whether that's the hydration or the actual Q10 building up my collagen and elastin, who knows, but hey, I'll take it. But you can see on the back of the bottle, so this tiny little paragraph right here is the ingredient. So really short and sweet, we have water at the Matrixel 3000. That's a peptide blend. We know peptides also help to plump out the skin. And then the Q10 is third on the ingredient list. There's also glycerin, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, then you have a preservative. Um, so yeah, just simple 
stuff in here and I think that Q10 is really making a difference. But the thing I love most about this, first of all, obviously those smooth results, but it really is such a joy to apply. It feels so like silky and smooth on the skin, really nice and emollient. So you can see you just get like this instant glow. It doesn't give a tackiness to your skin. It just makes your skin look just smooth and healthy and youthful. So I'm really excited about this serum. Definitely my second favorite from the collection. All right, and then next up, let's talk about the Pure Squalene Oil. So this is just pure squalene oil in here. There's nothing extra, no extra fragrances, nothing extra, no filler ingredients, which I hear from a lot of cosmetic chemists say that there's no really such thing as filler ingredients because every ingredient has a purpose, but I don't know. I think it's cool that when you look at a line like Timeless, they can, they manage to fit only a certain amount of essential ingredients in our line but squalene oil is amazing because it's super lightweight but yet it's still so moisturizing and still occlusive at the same time so I love this for the end of my skincare routine I will sometimes just apply this over serums or even if I'm applying a lightweight moisturizer I can top this over a moisturizer and it sits really well on top and it just seals everything in keeps your skin nice and moisturized it softens those you know the outer dead skin that you have that top layer of your epidermis to make everything appear you're more glowy who doesn't want more glowy skin right but squalene oil is one of my most favorite ingredients I love seeing it in moisturizers squalene is a skin identical ingredient we actually have it in our skin it contributes to the bounciness in our skin so I just love adding extra squalene to my skincare routine if I can and this oil is great because it's lightweight and so moisturizing and I need to get the bigger bottle of this because I've been slathering this all over my legs and I love the moisture I get from this and it gives my legs that nice healthy sheen but I'm not like sliding off my car seats and god forbid I sit on like a friend's white couch with a bad like tanner oil on my legs oh my god but this is really lightweight and it absorbs quickly into the legs now I will say on the face it does take a while to sink in it will slide around I can't put this on my face and put foundation directly over it my foundation would just slide around I would have to like I would literally have to put this on in the morning and not put makeup on for a few hours later so just keep that in mind but it's a great facial oil if you want something a little heavier it's still really moisturizing but it has that lightweight feel and it just gives your skin that extra hydration and plumpness and softness it makes your skin super soft so one of my favorite facial oils for sure I've been loving this all right and I've been surprisingly loving their hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid for me is so hit or miss the ordinaries I really like but I really have a problem with it pilling um, but I like that smoothness and the hydration that I get from it but some of them just, they make my skin feel extra dry. And I know in Philly, it's super humid. So I know it's not the climate. It's just, I think it's just sometimes the type of hyaluronic acid. I don't know. But this one is great because the texture is really nice. I haven't had an issue with pilling, which like I said, is so unusual for me with hyaluronic acids. And it's just nice and silky on the skin and it's nice and hydrating. It gives that facial oil feel, but it's not as heavy as a facial oil like the squalene oil. It's just really nice and lightweight. If you want some extra moisture in your routine, this is great to start with and then you can layer other hydrators on top and it pulls all that extra hydration into your skin to give your skin the extra plumpness and hydration so this is really nice I was really impressed by this all right now we're getting down to the not so favorites so now I still love this one but if you're gonna pick up a serum I would say go for the q10 serum over the matrixyl 3000 serum and that's only because you're getting the matrixyl 3000 in the serum with the q10 this you're just getting you're getting the matrixyl 3000 with essentially the same ingredients that this one ha has minus the q10 so why spend your money on this when you can get everything on this one but this is still really nice i like the texture i get the same plumpness from this but i actually like the silkiness of the serum i don't know this texture is nice but it's a little bit more watery but it does play well underneath other skincare ingredients I love it that it has the Matrixel 3000 in here. I fell in love with this Matrixel 3000 peptide blend after using, it was a serum by number seven. I got great results from that. Really nice like bounciness to my skin and I really noticed a difference in the crepiness around my eyes with that serum. So now every time I see a, a product with Matrixel 3000, I get really excited. So when I saw the serum, I'm like, oh my gosh, Matrixel 3000, there we go. But then looking into the fine print, it's already in this Q10 serum. So you might as well just pick this one up over the Matrixel one. And then just to throw this in the middle here, I can't really call this a favorite or a fail because I haven't tried this, but this is their Derma Roller. Thomas does supply two different sizes of Derma Rollers. They sent out the 0.5. 
I have not used this yet because I looked further into derma rolling and I just did not want to give this a go on my skin. So there's a lot of research that has proven that derma rolling can help scar tissue scars from acne and actually my brother has had great success from a derma roller that he ordered off of amazon oh my gosh i know he probably did not sanitize it i'm sure he just took it right out of the box and started using that thing but he used that and also i think he got a treatment from a dermatologist too but he had a lot of indentations on the side of his face from old acne scars and he his skin looks so improved now so he swears by these. Now my major skin issues, I do have some fine lines starting to appear, crepiness, but my big anti-aging issues is my melasma. And I am so afraid to make my melasma worse. And I did read some studies to show that the melasma can actually be pushed into the deeper layers and then the melasma is even harder to get rid of. So I just did not even want to attempt this. But I'll tell you what, if you have acne scars, if you want to give this a go, just go for the short derma rollers. Don't get the real long ones. You don't want anything that's going to pierce into your dermis. That's the layer of your skin that has your blood vessels. Essentially, you shouldn't get any bleeding from this. And in office treatment, you may see some bleeding because those longer needles are going to be getting to that dermis layer. But you do not want to be doing that at home because there's a huge risk of infection. Even these shorter ones, even if you're just getting into the epidermis and you're not seeing bleeding, any extra little break in the skin can allow pathogens to get into your skin and to cause an infection. We see in the hospital people being treated for cellulitis from bug bites, from little scratches. It can happen, so you have to be extremely careful with these. And you also want to look for sterility, but these are never, ever sterile. At least the ones I've seen have not been. It's, if something is sterile, it should say on the package intended for sterile use. And this does not say that anywhere on here. I'll include it down below, but I believe a 70% isopropyl alcohol is sufficient for antiseptic use, but I'm not positive on that. All right, guys, so I did some digging and... So yes, 70% alcohol is an effective disinfectant. However, just keep in mind, disinfecting is not the same as sterilizing. So when you disinfect something, like say using a Lysol wipe, there's still gonna be organisms left behind, still putting you at risk for inf infection. There's not really anything you can really do at home to completely sterilize something. Now, the CDC only recommends needles to be used for one-time use, especially obviously if you're puncturing the skin. There are some companies out there that do have one-time use derma rollers, so maybe keep that in mind if you're, you're considering one of these, um, because yeah, I just wanted to put it out there that even though using rubbing alcohol or a 70% solution, they're still, you're not really sterilizing. It's still just removing the majority of organisms and you can still be at risk for infection. So again, these can be great for acne scarring and texture on your skin, but I would for sure 100% consult with your dermatologist before attempting to use any of these at home scary devices. Scary in my eyes, I don't know. I, I thought the idea sounded good until I, really looked into these research studies and I just did not want to make a situation worse. But again, I told you about my brother's story and he had a great result from this, but just to be super careful with these. And then next up, this hyaluronic acid spray. This has cucumber extract in here, the, the Matrixel 3000 blend. It also has aloe, sodium hyaluronate, glycerin, really nice things in here. No extra irritants, which I love to see in a refreshing spray. But this, I don't know. First of all, the sprayer was a little too intense. You can't really just apply this over makeup up haphazardly you really have to be careful because ooh, it comes out in large droplets <laughs> and if you're too close to that your foundation is just going to slide off your face now without makeup on it does give nice hydration but it does leave a sticky tacky feel to the skin sometimes that tacky feel can almost give like a pseudo dry feeling so then you feel like you have to apply more but i don't know just that sticky texture i'm just not really fond of yeah, I don't know. This is just not my favorite. I wish the sprayer was just lighter. I think that would make a difference because it does have a nice refreshing scent. I like smelling that cucumber extract and it feels soothing on the skin. I just don't like that sticky feel and that heavy duty sprayer. It's just ooh, way too intense for me. So next up is their hydrating eye cream. This also has the Matrixel 3000, pretty common among the whole line, and then also hyaluronic acid. We have glycerin. We also have algae extract. Algae extract can actually be really plumping to the skin. You'll see that in all of the La Mer skincare. So nice things in here, but I just did not find this hydrating enough for underneath the eyes. It comes in a gel formulation, and I don't know if it's 
it's just me, but I like a heavy duty, like thick balmy texture when it comes to an eye cream, because otherwise we all know we could just pull up our moisturizer a little higher and just essentially use that as an eye cream. So this just didn't add anything extra to my skincare routine and I didn't really see any extra benefit to underneath my eyes. And I also feel like this packaging is way too big and cumbersome it's, this is kind of a, a petty thing but there's only 15 mls in here which is think about that that's a tablespoon that's like this big this big <laughs> and it's in this big pump jar i appreciate that it's in a pump i do like a pump and an eye cream but this is just way too big like i wouldn't want to throw this in my travel bag it's just a tiny it's you could fit it in a tiny little tube so maybe minor detail of the packaging but in an eye cream i want to see it pack in the moisture i don't need a lightweight gel underneath my eyes i want something heavy duty so yeah too lightweight it did wear well underneath the makeup but just wasn't hydrating enough for me i'm sorry my computer just went off there but yeah that's been my thoughts on the eye cream and really essentially the whole line i think that brings us to the end there i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was really fun i love this line so much like was this vitamin c Oh, it just feels so nice on the skin really nice brightness from this and then the q10 serum so surprising to me i cannot get over how much i love this texture and those smooth hydrating results that i got from this so love these two these were definitely my favorite the squalene oil as well and the hyaluronic acid surprised me also so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will include affiliate links, links down below. They did offer me an affiliate code, I believe. I have to check into that. I don't believe it's an affiliate program. I did tell them that I use reward links through for my affiliate links, um, but I will include that if one is available. I just have to contact them. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys have used from Timeless. Let me know what you're interested in. Um, share your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also let me know if there's any other skincare you'd love to see me review. I always love hearing from you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. See you guys.